On the last episode of Subnautica Below Zero, we were on a mission to find some diamonds. And unfortunately for us, that means that we also had to fight off the local fauna that were on a mission to eat us alive. After we bailed on that hellscape, we went back to the base and finally made ourselves the modification station. So that's a big win. And then we turned our sea truck into a sea rig. Let's get in there. What's up everyone, Derek Hiss here and welcome back to another day of Subnautica Below Zero. Today, we're gonna make ourselves a laser cutter. So actually, let me let me see what that actually takes. So if you missed last episode, we found some wreckage. Um, trying to think which way it was. I wanna say we have to go south, southwest. Pretty sure that's accurate. Once again, I'm just wholly unprepared uh, for the start of the episode, but we do need a laser cutter to get in some places on that ship. So I'm actually gonna build this. It actually doesn't take that much. I was expecting it to be a little bit more of a pain in the butt to make, but it's not. Um, so let me get that. Hi, Frank. Um, let me get that stuff. Anyway. Um, okay, let me see what the, uh, okay, I need a battery. And, and that's fantastic because I've got all these spares over here. So let me grab one of them that's charged up. And let's go make that laser cutter and we will be on our merry little way one thing i did notice that i didn't actually see last episode is that i picked up an additional power cell so that's going to come in handy for our sea truck and we picked up everything needed for the prawn suit and i actually looked before i hit the old start recording button and the prawn suit is not even that expensive i mean yeah we we could make that right now if we wanted to but i don't really have a need for it yet we're still kind of exploring around in the sea truck. So there's there's really no purpose for me to make it right now. Maybe next episode, we might have a need for it. But as of right now, the sea truck is getting us where we need to go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was this way. So let's go this way and see if it gets us there. Have we been here? Oh my God, is this grow beds? Oh my God, it's grow beds. Time out, time out, time out. <laughs> Let me scan those. Oh, baby. Even if this was the wrong direction, it was worth coming to. Oh, freaking sweet. Okay, we can get some exterior grow beds now. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. That was a sweet find. That was a really sweet find. Nothing else here, right? Doesn't look like it. You know what I didn't do? I didn't. You know what? We're going back. We're going back. False alarm. I didn't build any beacons. I had one job and it was to build some freaking beacons that I forgot to. We're gonna go back, we're gonna build some. Uh, I'm gonna at least keep one on me at all times and then I'll leave some others uh, tucked away here in the sea truck. Bam, two in storage, one on my body. All right, now we're heading back, south by southwest. We have so many things to do. I also feel like I haven't really, I, I feel like at this point in the last series, I'd been to more biomes. And I don't even think that's accurate. I mean, we've been to what, three or four so far? I feel like I'm progressing pretty quickly though. If we do see a place we can go down, we may do that. How dark is it? It's pretty freaking dark. I mean, I'm gonna have to just directly run into this crash site to find it at dark. There's the old jellyfish. We're getting close, I think. I don't think, I don't think this is the right area. Was it South by Southwest? Damn it. I bet it was south by southeast. Because I think going back to my shuttle was north by northwest. So I think I needed to go south by southeast. Oh, this whole problem could have been avoided if I simply would have just had a beacon. Hello? Um, okay, so where's the pilot's last known... Okay, the pilot's last known position is about here. Okay, and it's at least daytime now. So that's a plus. Is that a squid shark? That looks bigger. Dude, I do not think that is that a squid shark? What the hell is that? That looks a lot bigger than a squid shark. What are you? No, that isn't. That is not a squid shark. Hello? What's your story? Nope. 
No. Uh uh. No. Bad idea. Bad idea. Fudge. No. Lights. <laughs> Fla flash your lights. <laughs> That's going to do something. <laughs> okay. Let's get the hell out of here. What the hell? I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to poke that thing. Freaking monster. I'm intrigued. I want to know what it's called. Am I going to poke this bear? I mean, you know, I'm dumb enough to poke this bear. We, we all know I'm dumb enough to poke this bear. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Prepare the old sea truck. He didn't do that much damage. Like, I feel like a Reaper with a Leviathan at that amount of health, he would have destroyed uh, my sea moth. See if I can sneak up on you. At least figure out what you're called. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shit. No, no. Okay. So he's aggressive. Very. Oh, no. Don't drop it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Scan him. Fail. Did I pick that? Okay. I picked it up. First aid. I just wanted to know your name. Nope. Don't turn around on me. Because you look like a giant, uh, you look, look like a mix between a, a dolphin and a lobster. Nope, don't turn around on me. Don't turn around on me. A chelserate? They're called a chelserate? We're gonna dance. Come on, we dancing. Don't mind me. Don't, oh, come on. No, get back here. I was so close. So close to scanning you. Oh, come on. Got him. Got him. Gotta collect them all. Fail. Fail. Just going down. Straight down. Now, where's my sea truck? Whew! You missed me, sucker. The old dodge and weave, baby. <laughs> Oh, stupid. Oh, man. Let's get out of here. You are... I mean, I kind of dig you. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, less, less digging. Less digging. Yeah, you can't get me here. Can't, oh, you can get me here. No, 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 no. Oh, God. No. He... I, I had to get cocky, didn't I? Oh, why did I have to get cocky? Hey, don't no, no one likes a spawn camper. Nobody likes a spawn camper. Oh man, you still here, huh? And did all my stuff fall down? Did I lose anything? I don't honestly think so. I don't think I lost anything. No, no, you cannot get me in here. Get away! No, get the hell away! <laughs> That's some bullshit! He's just mad because I scanned him. He's mad because I scanned him. Alright, let's get the sea truck. Get the hell out of Dodge. See you, nerd. Oh, what the? Come on, man! Flash the lights! <laughs> Flash the life. Get the hell out of here. He only does, it looks like 20 damage. So that's not terrible. Oh, we found the ship at least. So I'm kind of surprised that we never ran into him. Because I mean, the ship's right here. Here's the back of the ship. Okay, so the front part, which we did find already, is still more to the south. I think the unfortunate uh, thing here is I really didn't learn my lesson, and I'm not afraid of that thing at all. <laughs> he didn't eat me. He did eat me, but he only did 20 damage to my sea truck upon attacking me. So, there's that. Okay, get on out. It's unfortunate. I, I need health. Did I pick up my... I did. I, I picked up my beacon. Don't need the metal salvage. I need to take my time down here. That, that is something that I, I do need to do. Oh, do we want to come in? I think so. Let's come around the side, right by the door that we're going to go into. That's, that's a better... 
the better placement for our, in case we need to rush out and get some oxygen. Damn, did it take this long to open up steel doors last time? I'm just waiting for a shadow to appear behind me. Oh, nice. We got some oxygen here. So that's a good sign. Um. Okay. What do we got in here? Nice. I think that was actually a power cell. Some copper wire? Badly take that. I can only do repairs in spurts. That's so inefficient. The larger tools seem to set off seismic activity nearby. A crew came back telling stories of gigantic worms burrowing in the ice. I don't know what they're all going on about. They were hypothermic in Frostbit because they walked back to avoid angering them. The ice shelf is probably a bit unstable and they got disoriented or something. To borrow from Diana. Orion's belt. Thermal couplings are not meant to be worked on in 20 minute spurts. If we break the process, we'll break the ship. <sighs> but it's nice to hang out with Yasmin while we wait for the rumbles to stop. I hope she doesn't mind all my questions. I love hearing her voice. Her face lights up, and she's got the most expressive eyebrows. They're practically acrobats. The way she looks when talking about nuclear engineering is the same way I look at my grandmother's domades. The woman never sits down, though. She told me that she used to do decathlon in college, and I can believe it. She's like a bouncy ball, just all over the place. She makes rounds on the ship every day to see if people need help. Hmm. I should do something nice for her. She's always helping everyone else. I wish I had a fraction of her energy. <laughs> Can I not get in this door? Apparently not. All right, let's go down here and scan this processing unit. Oh, shit. I need one of three? Ah, okay. So that's probably my objective in here. That's that's what we're looking for, huh? Getting that processing unit. I imagine I'm a little ahead of the game. And I'm also imagining that processing unit has something to do with the aliens inside my brain's uh, new body. Would be a uh, would be my guess. Or we need the processing power because we're going to make a mega prawn. I'm going to need a mega prawn because that dude just talked about giant worms in the ice. And I have a feeling that's not a good thing. Don't think I didn't catch on to that. <laughs> Definitely heard that warning. Okay, let's grab this oxygen. Scan this processing unit. Okay. So we, we need one more. We need one more processing unit. So where is it tucked away at? I really like the, uh, the O2 plants. I'm a big fan of those. Because it really decreases the chances of uh, well, me being me and drowning somewhere stupid that I'm not even meant to be. <laughs> Definitely helps out. Oh, shit, I forgot there's these that we can cut open. Cut open the boxes and a reactor rod. Shit, what are I gonna be using? What are we gonna do with that? And maybe it's not even here. Maybe it's at the other one because there is a second Mercury Two site we need we need to go to. But it's just silly to me that it have two of them and not all three at at this one. Oh, we got vents. Go through the vents. Oh, I've already been here. Unless, can I go through this door? No. No, I cannot get through that door. Well, that was a bummer. So let's keep going south. Hit up the other one and see if it's there. I mean, I don't even know if I need this thing yet. I'm probably done. I'm probably working ahead. Probably just wasting time here. Yep, we in glow whale territory now. It was south by southeast. It was not south by southwest. Hey, homies, you guys could have warned me that there was a giant lobster dolphin thing out there. Would have appreciated the heads up. Thought me and the glow whales were friends. Probably need to grab... Do I have a spare battery? 
do have a spare battery and I got another power cell. That's huge. Cause yeah, we are at eight power in this thing. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty huge. We found that. I do have another one in storage. So on our little trailer here and okay, let me drink a little bit. Drinky drinky. Let's go ahead and let's eat that nutrient block. That'll get us where we need to be. Is this a filtration system? Nuclear reactor. Nice. And we already found that power rod. Oh, there's some synthetic fibers. What do we need that for? Mark two, Mark two on our C truck. That's freaking huge. I don't see any O2 plants here though. So that's kind of a worry. Can I cut through this door? I can. Okay. What's in here though? Oh, never mind. I was already in here. All right. So we need to cut through that door. So let's cut through it. We'll hop back, get some oxygen before we continue on. Okay. What do we got in here? Anything good? That's an aquarium. Alien containment, I should say. Nice, got that. A red feather fish. Well, aren't you a handsome boy? My instincts are never wrong. Stephanos has always been overly cautious. He hates taking risks, which I suppose is understandable when you're in the back end of the galaxy. But no risk, no reward. Elliot finds evidence of alien architecture on a completely uncharted planet, and he expects me to ignore that? <laughs> Orion's belt, I would be an absolute fool. We've done some scans, and while there aren't a lot of mineral resources on this planet, there is decent biodiversity. Teams go out in the morning. There should be a significant specimen and sample hall for biopatenting, which will be split among the crew as part of the discovery clause. Let's see, Stephanos and everyone else complain when they have a few more soul transgov credits in their uniform pockets. They'll learn to trust my instincts at some point. The rotten potatoes. Oh man, oh man, oh man. This is every xenolinguist's dream. <sighs> I mean, I was helping with the planetary scans, and there are possible unknown structures on the surface. This could set my career up for life. The images are a little degraded coming through the atmosphere, but it looks like intentional and complex architecture, which means civilization, and civilization means da -da -da -da, language. Oh, man. And now, most of the crew wants to get home. I, I understand that, but this could be a defining discovery. I'm definitely going to put a bug in Diana's ear about going to the surface so I can take a team to explore. Desperately hope this pans out. Oh, I can't wait till we get into communication range with Soul again. Layla and the kids would love to hear this. I mean, it's rough being away from so long, but this might just make it worth it. I'll be able to give them so much more. Got it. Um. Hey, I still know what we need that for. I think, uh, honest to God, I think I'm working ahead right now. I think I'm getting ahead of myself. I think I found this place and I probably didn't necessarily need to explore it. Oh, there's, there's, there's grow bed again. Um, that's okay. We need to get that. We need to get a smoke too. Oh, thank God. Um, I'm actually, I am going to go out and get some O2. Oh, it's the prawn suits. Okay. So I think that's. I think that's kind of it for this. Oh, no. Nope. We got a bunch of crates in here. Forgot about that. A reactor rods for days. I'm curious if we can put the reactor rods in the prawn suit. Just with how many of these things we're finding, there's got to be something we can put it in to use for energy. Hell, we might be able to put it in the sea truck. Soul should pay me more to lead these missions. I saved the whole damn crew from destruction. Mercury 2 was nearly obliterated by an immensely powerful energy beam. I don't know any weapon system with that level of capability. The power source to get that kind of range must be... Nice. Well, otherworldly. We got lucky. The energy signature is similar to some of the weaponry meant to counter pirates on mining freighters. The refraction of the beam across the atmosphere... Ryan's belt. It looked like the Northern Lights. Such power. 
I fired the emergency flares and dumped water from the nuclear core. I think the heat signature confused the weapons tracking for just an instant. I managed a slight evasive maneuver, and I felt the mercury get rocked by the sonic boom as the nuclear runoff rapidly evaporated. That alone could have taken us out. Definitely asking for a pay raise. This is not what I signed up for. My days of risky missions should be behind me. Ah, but what the hell. I still got it. Even if it was luck. Hopefully, whatever didn't want us on the planet doesn't mind when we leave. Well, we landed safely. Yeah, there's a lot of data logs down here. Diana, damned adrenaline junkie, took one of her defining risks and it paid off. Why hire me as the maintenance engineering officer if you aren't going to listen to that advice? <laughs> oh, Papa. I didn't go to school for eight years and get three degrees for nothing. I tried to convince Diana that we don't need to stop for repairs. That's what the drift drive and the secondary propulsion system are for. Just a bit slower. But she's in charge, not me. On the plus side, I get to work with Yasmin. I didn't know she was such a busybody. She's been going around the whole ship giving folks a hand. I think she was getting on Diana's nerves, so she assigned Yasmin to me. She's helping me inspect and repair the thruster systems. I thought I was the most mechanically inclined person on the ship, but I think she has me beat. She can definitely teach me a thing or two, as long as I don't get too distracted by her smile. <sighs> She's got the best smile. Hmm. <laughs> Chill, Stefanos. We need to get off this planet. I mean, the morning started off so well. I took a team of six out to find the structures from the planetary scans, and we were all in high spirits. I mean, who wouldn't be? These structures would be clues to another sentient race. <laughs> it was highly unlikely that another colony would be out this far. We were going to be in the freaking history books. <laughs> Everything was going okay. We were a few miles from the ship when our radios picked up an actual signal. It sounded like an SOS. We got overly excited naturally and decided to enter the water to follow it. <sighs> that decision cost three lives. I mean, half my team. They got ripped to shreds by something. Been there. They died screaming. Been alone there. in the cold, dark waters. I, I'm not going back in that godforsaken ocean again. I refuse. Some of the animals on this planet, they look sick too. Weird pustules on the skin, oddly sluggish. What? I think we should leave. What the fuck? No? But Diana said we should stay. She thinks the bio patent payoffs would be worth it, but those families will never see their loved ones again. They don't care about no payoffs. We can't return the bodies. I don't care about the accolades or the history books. I just want to see Layla and the kids. Ah, oh, man. I miss the smell of my wife's hair. The kids tackling me at the door again. That's all I want. To get out of here alive. Please. I feel you, dude. But did anyone else see that? Like, when I left that vent, it put me in a room that was completely different than the one that I was showing. I believe, yeah, okay, okay. We made it out. Damn, panic there for a second. Panic? <laughs> oh, gee, many. Okay. So I think we can count this fully discovered. I don't know, let me know. Is there something I missed in there? I feel like I got everything. We spent a good amount of time exploring that place. Um, let's head back. I think this is honestly probably a good place to call it anyway. We had a pretty exciting day. Uh, we explored the front and the back halves of the Mercury, at least I assume is the front and the back half. There may be more to it that I you know, just haven't seen yet whether we needed to or not. Uh, we did finally found something that can swallow us whole, which I don't know how pleased I am about, but at least we know it's out there. <laughs> so it's been a pretty productive day. I think next episode, we are gonna go over here to uh, Architect Artifact X3J will be our big plan. Uh, if that, uh, if we wrap that up pretty quickly, uh, we might go over and try and find Oh my god, what the French toast. You jerk. 
um if we've wrapped that up pretty quickly we might go over and try and find the last known location to the pilot still and i think there's one other place we still need to kind of go to no well, that's it so yeah if i mean if we do oop, bump, if we do those and it's successful we may build the prawn suit maybe uh so we'll see we'll see how that goes i would like to do a little bit more exploring because we are to the point where we probably need to start building a more permanent base because i mean i have the reactor i've got the moon pool i've got i've got a ton of things that we need to just kind of start throwing on the ground so may do that as well so i think we kind of have the next couple of episodes lined up of going to these places that we haven't gone to yet trying to find that pilot and then maybe doing some exploring for a nice place to throw a base down so i think that's the plan so if you enjoyed the episode please hit that thumbs up button if you want to see what happens next please be sure to hit that subscribe button other than that i hope everyone has a fantastic day i will see you all in the next one jackie later